Coming to you live on a Saturday night, two men in the mic. Once again, I'm yours truly, Big Ron, alongside my co-host, White Pepper, who's wearing a fresh-ass White Pepper Club shirt. Bang, bang. That's a, not available yet, because it's a one-of-one. One. It's one-of-one one for now, but you know, if the outcry is loud enough. If there's supply, we might demand it. Mm, or mm, demand. Demand and we will supply If it? there's a demand, yeah. we might supply yeah. Okay, yeah. now nah, I, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, so demand it, and it will be supplied. If not, fuck y'all. Ooh. <laughs> it's my shirt now. <laughs> Feisty. I'm eating that meatball bowl, brother. Yeah, that meatball bowl gets me. Somebody's tearing a meatball bowl down. And then it is going to tear me down later. It's going to so. fire butt. <laughs> fire out the butt. Look, man, there's some kind of blood moon going on. I heard, and they said something about what? it. Make, yeah, I heard, I don't know. A I don't know. It's the blood, it's, moon? It, the blood moon's dripping. I don't know. Um, the book is that what the moon have a period? Is that what you're <laughs> Wait, where are you going well, with this? I was astrology this, or whatever? yeah, I was sent this shit because I'm Aquarius, okay, and that's real. And you're a what Aquarius, not Aquarius, it's a much different. <laughs> I didn't say, I wasn't, you gave me the look, I had it, yes, you, yeah, you gave me the look like I was getting cat though. dogs on the weekend. <laughs> you were <laughs> Knock 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 cat, cat dog. Oh, oh man, no, we're well, not getting cat that's dogs. A, that's another show, people. yeah, it's, uh, it sure is. Ooh. Um, but yeah, so like, shit happened. Um, yeah, so, we got new shirts, we got new, new life. Yeah, I, I ate a meatball bowl. We cooking. It was a meatball kind of night, I had a meatball Yo, sub. Meatball you did bowl. have a meatball sub. <laughs> yeah, you didn't, I was sitting I right next to I forgot about that, like, we, we really ordered yeah. all their meatballs. Like, they didn't know what to do with the Going amount of meatballs forward. we had. There's a delicious amount of meatballs. So, they're asking why on a Saturday night. Well, I'm going to tell you why. Mm. Uh, we just got back from a bar. Uh, slash 21st. A.K.A. it's a young man's game. We left the state, actually. Went to good old Delaware. I'm the okay. first state. The first state. Or the small wonder, Oof. as they call it. I think it's called the small is wonder. Is it called the small wonder? First state small wonder. I don't know. It's like a tiny penis joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we shot the whole state. To our Sorry, Delaware dude. listeners, please don't get angry Look, at... Tax get angry at White Pepper. Look, you tax-free motherfucker. I mean... Friends. Damn. Friends. Free friends. Friends. But yeah, we came from a 21st. Mm. Um, yeah, so real quick, happy birthday to our friend Frankie from happy Delaware. Happy birthday. Um, we were down at Kelly's Logan's house, which is in Wilmington. It's okay. not someone's house, though. It's not someone's house. Um, Despite what you think. It's like a big old Irish bar. Big. Um, the people there were very interesting. Unique? Uh, yeah. yeah. And from well, every era. It's like you walked like, in I and it was like... like like the like the finesse video from Bruno Mars, like yes. how it was, it's like what it was. People are walking in with fila and, and like the They're old like school. The swishy suits were on. The swishies were out. Some girl had she she was wearing Missy Elliott's Elliott's uh, plastic hoodie from one of her videos. Yes, I think I saw Prince. I know he's dead, but I saw him. I swear to God, I did. I saw Takashi sixty two. <laughs> yeah, not six nine. No. Sixty two. Sixty two. He's a little different, but he got the idea. There was a lot of bandanas going on. Bandanas were real. <laughs> bandanas are real. Is that a thing in Delaware yet? That hats were hot. That hats were hot. <laughs> the one who had a future hat on. What he the hell did. were you doing, bro? I, I, don't <laughs> I don't know what's going down. Like they're not playing your. Oh, song. he was going full future because he had the boots on and everything. Like yeah. He had like the jeans with the with the military boots. Like he wanted to be future. Look, yeah. Man, see, even Sierra left him. You don't want to be him. Trust yeah. me. He she left him for Russell as Wilson, Captain Jesus. Corny, my corny as shit. Is, right. He's, he's a good dude, but yeah. he is corny. Mister, I'm waiting till marriage. Right. Russell, <laughs> which is a thing. I, <laughs> hey man, if that's your thing, if that's your thing. It seems to be the theme of the night, but uh, we'll let that one go. It's a whole other podcast. <laughs> <laughs> if you oh, want to keep it, you can keep it. You man, let that's it go, segue is dope. <laughs> that's a very good segue. <laughs> um, yeah, like it was really this. I, I mean, I realize I don't know if it was because of where we were, but Maybe it, it locked in the image of me. Like, look, in my thirties, yeah, I can't do this scene no more. Yeah, it gets very. Like, it gets upstairs very was a douchey. dance club. It was loud. Yeah, and I thought loud. Like I feel like we've gotten to the point where I'm starting to say like, man, this bar is too loud. We mm-hmm. never had that. We never no. said, like, oh, bar's too loud. Right. And, like, we were actually angry at, like, the dudes who stand around while girls are dancing. Why do they and, do like, that? Because, like, why you dance? the or ratio, it was, like, it. all these dudes standing around, not dancing, creeping, looking. Yeah, and I've seen girls videos. Just dancing, I'm like. Right. I've seen videos that started like that, and it, it didn't end well for right. them. It was, it was a lot it's more. It's not a, not a good look. No, it just, it, it's, it's creepy. really look. thirsty, bro. Yeah, like, fellas, is there a girl out there dancing? You know, do yourself a favor. Try to swab yourself out there. Dance more like Usher, you know? 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Ur- Ur- Ursher, Ursher would dance into the pants. Okay. Right. Don't don't try to go up there and you know grind on people's buttholes like that. That's you know, being disrespectful. <laughs> don't cat dog them. Do not cat dog them. Not, not cat dog. This is a cat dog episode. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're gonna hear a lot more about bone hammer. <laughs> <laughs> it it was it was literally an experience, you know. I was at a bar just like that kind of when I was in um, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Said no one ever. <laughs> yeah, you would think they called it the Bob, right? It's called mm-hmm. the Bob, like the B O B. You know, it's when Bob was hot. So I thought, oh man, this is gonna be like that cool ass artist, the Bob. Right. And it was four bars on four levels. Each one of them with a completely different theme. You had sports bar, you had a country bar, you had a hip hop bar, and then you had a actual club on the bottom floor. Or no, it was a microbrewery on the bottom floor. Really? So the micro and they were cool with the microbrews. All microbrews were a dollar. What? So if you were willing to try their microbrews, they would give you that it was still a sixteen ounce cup for a dollar. Man. It was a mess. I got involved in a um, in a bachelorette party. Mm-hmm. I don't know what I was supposed to be, what part I was supposed to be in their in their hunt. I don't know if I was something small because I'm because I'm five foot three, or if I was something cute. I'm gonna go with something cute, but I feel like it was something midgety. Um, but yeah, it was. You can't cool say thing. that it's small person, little people. Bro, I am tiny. I can say whatever uh, I want. Okay? okay, you can say the n word. I can't. You know, it's the same thing. Nice. Hey, yeah. Nice. Okay. All right. And I can say the m word. <laughs> Migrate. Um, okay. Yeah. But, like, yeah, it was cool because it was weird. Like, you would, it would literally be, like, the complete different thing. Like, you can go to floor two, and they were banging out some Toby Keith. Mm-hmm. And it's just a bunch of white folks with spurs on their feet and shit. And then you got one level, you got Jordans, you know. <laughs> yeah. You got Jordans, you got Ursher going, yeah. And you got a whole thing going down there. Right. And then, and then you go, like, down one more floor, and everybody's just watching a good game. Like, I think hmm. they need more of those. Like, theme bars, I guess, you know? You think they would fly out here? A theme a level A multi-theme bar? bar? Yeah, but I feel like you gotta put the country on, like, the top and, and the hip-hop on the bottom. Or, like, you gotta keep them separated. Yeah. That way. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, don't, you don't want them too close. I feel like it's, <laughs> that's, that's not gonna work out too well. Okay? A lot of them still like to wave that other flag, and you don't want that shit too close to each other. The white, white flag? Yes, like the give up flag. No, oh no, no not that one. Oh okay, the old down south one. They still live on that John. Like little John Eastside boys. Yeah, yeah, like the Dukes of Hazard boys. <laughs> 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 Them Duke boys. Oh okay, okay. Yeah, well, I would be down for that. But yeah, it was it was a uh, crazy night in the DE. In the D, in the DE. Yeah, it, it was, was tax free uh, in the DE. Yeah, I mean, what would you compare that bar to? Like around here, I, I was thinking kind of like a. A more Irish Barnaby's. Yeah, it had a Barnaby's feel. Yeah. Like Barnaby's Havertown feel. Yeah, yes. Because it had the dance area and the bar area. Yes. Yep. So I would say, like, it would be Barnes of Havertown. Yeah. Where you can get trashy either way. Like, mm-hmm. You can either be the dance trashy or you can be chill at the bar trashy. Right, right. But, yeah. i say it was, like, their Barnes. And it was an Irish bar, so it made sense. Yeah. Same deal. So, uh, if you guys want to go to... Logan Morrison's house. Logan. Yeah, Logan. <laughs> it was uh, Kelly, Kelly. Kelly. Kelly Kapowski. <laughs> Kelly Kapowski. <laughs> <Kelly Kapowski's laughs> it's all right because I'm Saved by the Ooh. Bell. That's who it was, right? She was in Saved by the Bell? Yes. Kelly Kapowski? Yes, yeah. she was. I'm, man, I've been pissed off. I sang the wrong theme song. <laughs> yeah. like, it's no, in good man, times. Was... Good times. <laughs> it was not in good times, brother. Wrong one. No. Wrong. Uncheck that off your list. Wrong color. <laughs> Good times was definitely not the same. It's saved by the bell. But uh, so, are you a fan of Twenty First? Where you think? Yeah, you know, we've been, we've been through a lot of them. You know, Twenties yeah. are behind us now. So, it's, you, it's are you fun. seeing the it's, same kind of trend? Oof. It's always the same thing. Yeah. Girl gets has party. Girl gets drunk. Girl gets blasted. Girl on, gets blasted on Twenty One. Yeah. yeah. As you should, though. I feel like anybody should. Right, right, right. right. If it's your Twenty First and you remember it, I mm-hmm. feel like that's kind of disrespectful for your for yourself. Mm-hmm. Like, I know my 21st, I remember we went to J.D. McGillicuddy's, um, we, cause you couldn't go. You I were not 21 yet. I could yet. not go, yeah. It was, it was a, it was the Ron L. Less 21 mm-hmm. birthday. So I we went to J.D. McGillicuddy's. My cousin was a bartender. Mm-hmm. So the drinks started a flowing. And oh. all I remember was we all fit into a Volkswagen Jetta. <laughs> it was like 10 of us in a Jetta. We pulled the good old, how many clowns can you stuff into a car move? 
got that. We got that. I don't remember most of the ride home. And I remember we all woke up in the living room on the floor with Roxy, my dog, covered in powdered donuts. Huh. Because we were trying to feed her them, but I believe I tossed them the matter. And I had powdered donuts all over myself. So we don't know what happened once we reach home. So your dog has diabetes now. <laughs> There's a solid <laughs> chance. There's a solid chance she's that's why she's always pissing everywhere. Yeah. Oh, okay. But okay. yeah, like, I don't remember it, but I know it was a good time. Because I still had leftover shots. Like, they give you, like, the plastic cups, like... If, wait, 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 you had take-home shots? Like, no, you remember, <laughs> smart move, right? So J.P. <laughs> McGillcuddy's would do is, they give you the, they give you the, the blank cups. Because if everybody trying to buy you a shot at once, right? Yeah. Because you're there, and say, like, eight of your family members are, and like, I got you on a shot, what do you want? If you just finish shot number one, please do not ask me what I want for two, three, four, five, six. So they would give you clear white cups, clear white shot glasses. And so they would give you a stack. So every time someone buy one, they add it to the stack. And then whenever you're ready to redeem said said drink, yeah. you just hand them that and say, I want a shot of And they hand you a shot because it's already paid for it. Oh, uh, okay. But instead of you having eight shots in front of your face and trying to take down eight shots at once right, and right. die before 945, they're like, this way you can spread them out and still drink. Like, so the, they like between. pre-poured the shot. Yeah, and you're like, basically. Okay, I'm yeah. ready for this one. Clear cup here. I want this. And they say, what do you want? You're like, uh, sweetest fish on this. Bang. Okay. Cool, second beach here, bang. Like you would just say your shot, or they say like, uh, "This is Mike's shot." Mike, what what do you want to do? And they would tell you what to do, and then you would just drink it. Hmm. So it was a smart move. I think that's kind of cool because like this way it paid for, but you're not like pressured into being like, "Oh my God, the shots on the bar, I have to drink it right now." Hmm. I still blacked out, but oh yeah, that was the first of many times in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I found myself blacked pretty out. Pretty much anywhere you, you pretty much blacked out. Like yeah, I was toilet. pretty good at that. Toilets are my favorite. That was probably the best. They're my favorite place. Man, was straight dumping and just rocked. Nighty night booty hole type. Look, look, that bathroom in the old house, though. Yeah. The, the, the sink was too close. Yes. All you had to do was lean your noggin. You really were. You just I just leaned out, my noggin bro. and that was it. I was good to go. Sleep. Sleep time. Bye bye. But I mean, I think everybody's 21st. You gotta you got get rocked. You know, you gotta get rocked. Do the best and get rocked. And Do you think girls go harder or guys go harder on 21st? I feel like guys go harder, but yeah. I feel like girls try to go harder, but they're smaller people. True. So a lot of times, they're harder means like 1030. And they're already <laughs> they're already like glazed. You see the eye glazed over and you're just like, yeah, we're going to ring the bell because mm-hmm. you walked into the closet three times to go pee-pees. <laughs> You know? Yep. I feel like everybody tries to, you know, it's the first time you're at a bar, really. Like, le- I mean, unless you're one of the people who decide to get fake ID. Otherwise, it's the first time you legally can walk into somewhere and just order beer and, and shots and liquor and mixed drinks. You don't understand, like, you know, you got to learn your limits. That's something they still got to learn. Hmm. So I think I think you deserve to get mush faced. And I believe good old Frankie got mush faced, right? Yeah. She seemed... She, she seemed just to, disappeared. Yeah, the last moment that I saw her... Yeah. She, she texted her girlfriend saying that she threw up, then yeah, couldn't that's, find that's her. Pretty, that's a pretty common move. So, Frank, you're going to have a nice morning. Oh. <laughs> very, very nice aware. morning. She's aware what's about to happen yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, you better have some fucking... You better have a sandwich ready. Mm, like, mm. As greasy as humanly possible. <laughs> and perhaps that trash can. <laughs> yeah. Next to your bed is... Here a sandwich and trash can. Hug that motherfucker, because you're going to be throwing up. Whew. Like Big Ron did after the beer fest. That, I got lots of snaps on that. That one. never happened. That was the oh. only like, It never. No, I've never puked drinking. <laughs> no, man. I was concerned for what? Wait, wait. I, I did. I did actually. You did. You did I, a bunch of times. It's coming, back. it's coming back to me now. Yeah, it was yeah. coming back. All right. You know what it was? It was the um, not your mom's apple pie oh. or not your dad's. Because it was just so gross. sweet. And it's it too delicious. much sugar for a beer. But then right. it was like, yeah, it was on top of like. Thirty-five beers. Right. It's like, it's just game over. Yeah, yeah. That was a bad. That's a bad combo. Yeah, that not your mom shit is dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like just... liquid pie. <laughs> no, he's like, give me some liquid pie. The fat kid and all of us just heard liquid right. pie. Was like, I'll take twelve. They should serve it with like whipped cream. Yeah, you know oh, I mean? bro, you, bro, <laughs> you can't take that. That's been hurt, Is it hurt, apple hurt pie? first. Yeah, it was like not your mom's See, apple, apple pie. Like, warm, you ever have like warm... warm apple pie. <laughs> Did you ever have warm apple pie with dick? I mean, yeah, with... With, with a winger, <laughs> <laughs> with with ice cream on top. Alamo, bro. You who? It's called Alamo. LFO? <laughs> LFO. <laughs> Wait, what's it? Alamo? I like Abercrombie. Yeah. yeah. I got girls that do Abercrombie and Fitch. 
I'll take you if I had one, bitch. Or something like that. <laughs> no. For the summer. For, for the, the summer. Su- yeah. And the guy tried to rap. He's like, summertime blondes have summertime tans. I don't understand. I'm a man in a band. <laughs> He's like, yo, my man Shakespeare wrote a whole bunch of sonnets. And that scene, someone got stung by a hornet. <laughs> oh, I'm talking about Kemba. <laughs> oh, I were laughing, but I think that guy's dead, so. I know, he did die. Yeah, That's well, pretty fucked up. I mean, you had, you had all right rhymes before you went. Yeah, and right, Emma just came and just killed him. Yeah. <laughs> Emma just hated though. Emma was like, the worst. Let me tear you up before you go. <laughs> Shame. Don't die yet, bro. I got something mean to say. <laughs> I got something to really make you, <laughs> oh, make you ha- sad on your way out. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's called Alamo mode when you put the ice cream on top. Oh, I just thought that shit was my invention. I'm real pissed about that. You think you're the first person I was like, Yo, to put ice cream on top? We should put fucking ice cream on top. That was wrong with Yo, it you. wasn't called that shit. It was called, no? Yes, where? At Iron Hill. Remember we got that? It was me, you, and one of your family members. Yeah, me and my cousin. And, it like, was not called Alamo. Alamo. You guys were killing the apple It was called apple pie ice cream. <laughs> They didn't call it. They didn't call it. Call apple pie ice cream. They didn't call it Yalamo or some shit. <laughs> Yo, we, 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 we <laughs> Bilamos. <laughs> Let the rhythm take you over, Bilamos. Yamo. <laughs> Yo, what are you? What's that singer? The like, Yamo be there. <laughs> That's what you sound like. <laughs> you will be there. What the hell could, you, could you use that in a sentence? <laughs> I wombo, you wombo, <laughs> he, she, it wombo. <laughs> wait, wait, what's not a song? Hey, what are you, my most 65? <laughs> One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Oh, man. Yo, that guy's still making money off that. This is like Lou Vega. Like Lou Vega. <laughs> yeah. This is a commercial not too long ago from the beach. He's just milking that shit. It sure is. <laughs> He just changed the girls' names. He'd be all right. Oh, man. I remember I used to think it was, like, tough as shit if, you're, like, your girl was in that zone. Like, a girl yeah. you were talking to was, like, in there, like, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah I do have a whole lot of Monica in my life, Ooh. bitch. <laughs> so I don't know any Monicas. I do one from, you like, know high school, but, like, you know. I don't, I don't, I don't like, it's know. Really like a but, like, I don't, yeah. It, popular name. Really, the only Monica I know is from Friends. Courtney Cox. So uh, hot. Right, yeah. Oh. So hot. Want to touch the hiney. Ooh, I like the movie mm. reference. I like yeah, it. Man. it was I like solid it. Adam Sandler. By the way, I watched a new movie from them on Netflix the other night. I forget what the fuck it was. But it was Joe it was basically um Joe Dirt, but it wasn't. Mm. It was David Spade. Okay. I forget what it's called, but like his he's like a scumbag uh, not a scumbag dad, but like he's like a redneck, nasty just broke ass dad. That's like his, every David Spade role ever. Yeah, basically it's his role. Yeah. And he always has like a weird voice, but like it was kinda dope. And Netflix puts out good ass movies now. It is the movie capital of the world, though. Yeah, they low key are like the new. Yeah, because like, they paid HBO like Adam Sandler like ninety million to make five movies. So that's why he's not really seeing those horrible movies anymore. Like he makes really bad movies. Yeah, but now he makes them for Netflix. Okay. And you don't have to pay anything for them because you're already paying for Netflix. True. So like he'll put it, it's the same people in every movie. And they'll have Chris Rock and it, mm. he has Kevin James and them all. Like they all make their appearances still like they have for like it's like twenty years. Right. But now he's just got paid in advance ninety million to do it. <laughs> yeah, I I'm still hoping like, for a grown ups like three. Yeah, I think it's in the works, bro. It's gotta be. They're gonna keep running them out there. Why the first one not? was so good. The second one was okay, but the third one's gonna be better. Yeah, it's just a good movie. Yeah, I'm down for that. Please huh. get that on. Get on that, Adam. Call him by his first name so he knows I'm real. Adam. Yeah, Adam. Thank you. Are you saying like the Adam app? Is that what you saying? <laughs> Adam. But yeah, man. I don't know. I I, I liked. It was a solid Delaware trip. Yeah, it was it was cool. I mean, you know, you do it for the girlfriend because she wants to hang out with a friend. Amen. Uh, I'm just glad it's over. <laughs> 21st are not fun when you're when not you're 21. When you're not in your even yeah, mid-20s. Yeah. yeah. We like quieter places like breweries. Where, and it had the live band. And it had the bongos. I don't understand why. It was That was a crazy live band. I don't like I've never it. really seen a no. live band with a double keyboard. He was double keyboarding? He had a double keyboard, bro. That's like a... Yeah. 160 keys, right? No, 88. I don't know. Des Bryant? It's probably about Alicia Keys. <laughs> oh, no. But yeah, it was, that was too much, man. And and when we first got there, I thought all he owned was a Ziggy Marley album or some shit. It really was just like Everything that was going to be all right from Bob was like on right. like 72 times hmm. in a row. And then after after they performed, Kiki Do You Love Me was on 82 times. Yes. Between that one and Almost Set. 
was also on 72 times, which it made was me like, quite it was upset. Like Island Drake Night. Yeah. No one told us it was Island Drake Night, but thank you for Island Drake Night, because nothing I love more than hearing the Kiki dance or whatever. Fuck and it is. people were actually doing the whole dance, too. I'm like, telling you, stop. people are so weird. Why? Drake, Drake has people fucking shook. God damn it. It's that damn Shiggy. Yo, yeah, me and Shiggy Marley. Me, they said he tossed some money at him. He should. Drake did afterwards. Like, yo, thanks for making this a bigger hit. Because with no Shiggy Challenge, people aren't singing that shit like that. Guaranteed. No. It's not that good of a song that you're going to go word for word with it. But all of a sudden, when someone's doing some stupid-ass dance where you jump out your car right. and you try to Shiggy Challenge, I watched some girl get hit by a car the other day doing did it. That was really? pretty pumped. Not like live and in person. Right. On YouTube. She said, oh. key, key, do you... And that was the end of her. <laughs> I guess Kiki did not love you, but the Kiki Kia did, and it hit you. Ooh, <laughs> like it. Take that, and stop being stupid. Huh. But yeah, so, good job, 21st. Rock out with your, rock out with your socks out, guys. Mm-hmm. What else, what else is floating on this here agenda, bro? I mean, I guess we can crack up a little, a little sports action, a little sports. Ben in here. Banner, Still can't use it. Nope. We're going to get a letter in the mail pretty soon saying yeah? you can't you know? use it. If you combine them, it's NB... So just, yeah. It's like NBCESPN.com. You're just saying the alphabet now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we want everything. You're pretty much just saying the alphabet. Thank God. So, sports, bro. Uh, like I said, this is the dead season of sports because uh, there's it's, nothing. It's like, except for baseball. But I mean, still, you got training nothing. camps just opening up. Camps are open. Um, you yep. have Jarvis Landry's mouth opening up. Do you hear? Mm. Do you hear the dumb, dumb shit he said? I did not hear. Now remember, he's on Cleveland Browns. Sure is. 0 and 16. Yep. He said, "You shouldn't worry about us winning games. You should worry about us not blowing you out by 40. We can win the Super Bowl this year." What Madden? That's what I said. <laughs> it's you and Josh Gordon, bro. It is not that you have Tyrod at quarterback. It, 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 you didn't get Brady. And even if you do bring in Dez, it's, it's still not enough. I mean, it's a it's solid still the same zero and sixteen team from last year, though. Otherwise, yeah. you're gonna be better. Sure, you might actually be like an eight and eight, nine and seventeen. That's fine. But going from zero and sixteen, sure. But you were zero and sixteen, man. They didn't make that many moves. No. For you to be sec- for you to be dumb and claiming Super Bowl. That that's some dumb shit. Yeah, that was like a talk. They're like, oh, Browns are gonna win the chip. No, I'm sorry. No, they're, they're, that's not, mm, not gonna happen. Yeah, I mean, you got Josh Gordon. Who, who knows? He already might if be he, smoking weed if again. He does, yeah, if he stopped smoking, he'd be a monster. He's not even allowed around like the facility. He's like, I don't know if he can do now, but like before, like no, he's allowed. He but wasn't allowed to be around. But he said he's not doing. Um, he can't start training camp on time because he has a certain kind of therapy he has to follow. Yeah. So that he does not decide to start smoking weed. I guess that intense. Like if he doesn't go to this therapy tonight. My man's going to have a fucking full bong out and just going hard. Just stop. Like, you can do it all off-season, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, you can't... Like, Randy Moss literally said, just do it in the off-season, bro. 16 weeks. I, mean, I know it may be a lot for someone who, who relies on weed. I don't know. I mean, maybe he's just a weed addict. Right. But still, like, they're tossing millions of dollars at you. Millions. You can get one of them fucking cool-ass fake rooms and shit. And yeah. And smoke in there. And, like, nobody will find you. I actually saw that shit on Facebook the other day. A dude who makes those rooms. Like, you pull, like, the, the fucking trophy, and it, like, the, the bookcase moves and shit, yeah. and you can go into a secret room. Huh. I'm trying to get one of them ordered. I don't know where the fuck I'm going to put it, but I'm doing it. <laughs> like, yo, where can you give me a fake-ass room? I want one that just looks like I'd like the Encyclopedia Britannica. Then right. you pull it, bang, game room. You know what I'm saying? Like, something right. dope. Batman style. Hmm. But, yeah, like, like you know, you're on the Browns, bro. I believe you should kind of keep your comments to yourself for now. Yeah. You're 0 and 16. Yes. Getting getting a couple receivers and Tyrod Taylor does not equate to sixteen and zero from zero and sixteen. Tyrod was on the Bills last year and the year before and the year before. And guess yeah. what? I did not see them running towards a chip. Mm-hmm. You know, what, well, what Baker Mayfield's going to do it afterwards? Well, you know Baker brought his own camper from training camp, oh, well. and he has like secret quarterback meetings in there because I guess Baker believes he's going to so, be so cat dogs. He's, he's cat dog and yeah, yeah, he's cat dog in the game. Cat dogging each other. Right. I don't, yeah, I mean it, Tyrod's getting the start. Baker's obviously probably going to start him. Baker's the pretty much whatever. Just, they're just waiting up. for Tyrod to mess up or get hurt. That's all. But Baker, it's just I like Baker. I mean, I think he's a cool dude. But in terms of franchise quarterback, I don't know, man. I think it's Manziel two point 
they actually had the CFL on the other day. Because yes. he was playing. Yeah. I was at the gym, and I was like, why is a CFL on? And I was like, oh, I see number two back there running. I was like, yep. look, at, look at, it's it's comeback season for Manzo. I'm in. Hmm. What else? So, we had that. We had, um, Phillies are in first place. Then the one seems to care. Like two and a half to three games. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. I went for the Chase Utley's, Chase Utley's uh, final start at Citizen Bank Park. Yeah. And... It was a solid crowd, man. They had thirty three thousand, which is close to the forty five fifty they were putting out when they were good. But right, like when they were, people loved them because they were good. But they're good, man. People need to people need to stop sleeping. Don't sleep on the fills. It's gonna be a fun time. If anybody remembers two thousand seven, eight, nine, ten, those were a good ass time to be a fan. Mm-hmm. Tailgates were mean. Really was. The games were fun. Because you always could win the game. Like, you always had that cool... And then when you're done... Like, it was always a good time to go to a Phillies game. Mm-hmm. It was a rather cheap ticket for... Even even when they're good, it's a cheaper ticket. Just because they play right. 162 games. You can, it's not like an Eagles game. If they're good, it's going to cost you $400. Just spend two hours <laughs> at a game. And then another $62 to park your car or some shit. Mm-hmm. Like, it's a good game to go to. But some deals were made, right? For the so far so good, we had a Drupal Cabrera. Cabrera. To go with a Drupal Herrera. Yeah, say that two times fast or five times fast or any time fast. Commentators are fucked on that one. Yeah, you're going to be like, oh, OD. OD. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to AC. Yeah, AC. Yeah. Oh, man. Some people have OD and AC. That's true. Oh, yeah. wow. You were on that. Dark. You were sharp. Got dark real quick. You, are, you went zero dark pepper. Right <laughs> <laughs> the white pepper died. Today. Yeah, it's all dark pepper from here on out. Um, yeah, we had a couple of deals, I guess. Right there's uh, Cole Hamels, who I was hoping to come back here. Yeah, you know, he still he still shops at the at my G Run Acme. I don't yeah. know why he comes all the way back to Granite Run just to buy some uh, groceries, but he does. Him and the wife Heidi. They, they like to do their shopping with their uh, child, who is adopted. Really? Yeah, he's uh, not white. No. Yeah, they have a little work. Yeah, they, 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 they uh, I think he's Ethiopian, maybe? But yeah, they adopted a child. They didn't have, he didn't have a kid yet. He adopted a kid. Oh. Mm-hmm. That's nice. I almost said his name was Siri, but I think that's the... Uh, Siri? That's the, that's the, that's Tom Cruise's kid, or Siri, Siri, Julie, one yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah, one of them. She, she adopted, like... 200 kids. The whole village. Yeah, she's like, give me your village. And I'll give you these Shots lips. out, man. That's, that's what's up, man. Yeah, but Cole... Give yeah, me Cole, home. He, uh... Yeah, he, he adopted. Because, you yeah, know, they were coming in the one time and I forgot that they adopted. And I was confused for like a half second. I was like, wait, what is... I was like, wait, is that Heidi? And that's... I was like, oh, they did adopt. But yeah, like, he still loves Granite Run. He still loves being in Delco. Huh. These Phillies players fell in love with Delco. So crazy. Yeah, man. It still confuses me. But <laughs> they love themselves some Glenn Mills. They hit up Glenn Mills and they, they, they stick there. They stick there after their career. For a long time, our our new follower, Hollis Thomas, was always in there. Yeah, shout out yeah. to Hollis Thomas for liking the show. I appreciate it, man. Keep listening. And, uh, yeah, guys, keep the likes coming because uh, we definitely need the support. And uh, it's definitely giving us the motivation and the fuel to keep right. going. To keep it rolling. Going in the right direction. So, uh, yeah, man. Keep keep, uh, keep listening. Listen up and listen. And hit that like button. Yes. And subscribe and all that other fun Do stuff. Do all that. Do all that. We should make, like, what's, like, our uh, like our fan, like, call? You know, like. Oh, yeah. Like, like, like Taylor like, has, like, whatever the hell they're like called. She has, like, the Tay-Tays or some shit. <laughs> yeah, the top Tas. <laughs> and, like, M has stands. You know? Huh. If you're an M fan, you're a stan. Huh. Yeah. Can you be a mic stan? Ooh. Ooh. Like, yo, all our mic stands out there, you know? Like, I like it. Yeah. You're saying stand, but kind of sound like stand. Yeah, hey, all, all our mic stands. So, guys, let us know if you're down to be called mic stands. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're still working this out right <laughs> We're now. We're still thinking about it, but, I mean, hey, for a rough draft, if you guys want to be called, you know, what up, mic stands, you know, because we're, we're two men in a mic, but you guys be a mic stand, you hold us up. You know, you... you Ooh, look at that. You hold you're up the team. You us up. You hold us up and keep us going. Saying. You are mic stands. So our mic stands out mm. there. I like it. I like mic stands. it. So, I mean, that might be a dope ass nickname. Yeah, I kind of like, like it. Yeah, it's like all the mic stands. Live, <laughs> <laughs> live, live, local, great. Oh, no, we might get sued nah, for that part. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yep, definitely. Damn, that the NFL and the goddamn Tigers coming after us. This is rough. Yeah, rough day live, for us. local, great. Live, that is local, awesome, great. Even though we do not, we record this thing. Yeah.
It's not live at all. I mean, it's live for us. Oh, it's live right now. Yeah. But when you guys hear it, it's not. It was still, you're still listening to a live, live show. We don't really edit any of this. We're live right now. We're, We're live. live. We're lit and live. Let live and live and let die. Yeah. Live and let die. But yeah, so sports is kind of, like you said, it's, it's, it's a shitty time of the year. You know, yeah, like, it's I enjoy slow. watch. I've been watching Phillies baseball every day because well, it is what's on, that's and, what, okay. and they've been good. So that's that's better. At least you're not watching a shitty team go. Does it keep you in your seat with a beer? Sure does. does it keep you keeps me rolling. <laughs> keeps you. What Scott rolling? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, excuse me. It's now Scott Kingery is the new gentleman who runs that. It's automatic. No. And Reese <laughs> Hoskins. Reese Cup. Reese Cup. I don't know why everybody does call him Reese Cup though. Hey, look, it's Reese's Cup. And you're like, hey, that's weird. Everybody just wants to eat him? Some weird shit. Uh, cat dog. All right. Cat <laughs> dog. Cat dog brought to you by Bonehammer. Well, well, speaking of the Phillies, since we're on that subject, we're talking about how there's a new way to get beer mm. at the bank. Oh, my God. You don't have to leave your seat. Look, guys. Explain. Take it away, Pepper. Take it away. You ever, like, been in your game, right? And you're in the middle. You know, like, you're not even on an end seat. You're mm-hmm. in that middle seat. That middle you know, where even if the beer vendor comes down to you, mm-hmm. you have to do that weird whisper down the lane thing where you got to pass someone your 20, and right. then they got to pass someone your 20 until it reaches all the way down, and then that guy's like, how many? And then you're like, four, and he's like, 16? And you're like, no. <laughs> and like you guys are fighting back and forth, and then you kind of tell the guy next to you, like, no, tell him I'm on four. And then by the time it gets down there, yeah. everyone in the row has a beer. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> and they hand you back like 32 cents, and you're like, where's my money? What? Is that my tip? And, and it's just it's just such an issue. Right. Right? But imagine if you could just send a text message to your beer guy and say, hey, beer guy, I need two Stellas. I'm going to pay for it via Apple Pay. And he says, I got you, dog. And you do it. Boop, boop, boop. And this man walks down with the two beers you asked for mm-hmm. and just whispers those two things down the line. You don't need to tip. You don't need to ask questions. You don't need to scream down the row and just lands in your hand. You're still watching the game. You didn't miss an inning or a pinch. Would you be down for that? Uh, yeah. Yeah, because that shit's about to go live live. Live live. Okay? At Citizen Bank Park. Starting this past weekend, right after the All-Star break. Um, so it is A couple right. levels in the 100 level. I believe, I believe they said 115 to one. 25 or something like that. Okay. It's a sample section they're doing right now mm. where it's literally a text message from Aramark with a Q, one of them QR codes, right? Yeah. So and I think you scan the back. So it's like on the back of the seat. That's yeah, in they're going to put you. it on the seat, right? And then like you don't have to download the app because that's annoying downloading right. apps when right. you don't need to. And then you pay so much just text. Like, I don't know. I guess it showed it. Like, no, they said when you hit the QR code, a right. site comes up. Okay. And it'll say like, welcome to Citizen Bank Park Aramark. What would you like? And all the beers are listed. And you click which ones you want. Oh, okay. How many? And then it will show you the price. And then you literally charge you through whatever bank account you have on your phone. And you're hmm. like, you literally, are, everything's paid for and up to date before you, they even get there. How many people are super excited for that to go live, like, around the entire stadium? So, I think... Do you think it's going to be the entire stadium, or do you think it's going to be, like, a uh, first level thing? I think they'll probably start it there. And like, if, you think it's if, be first if, level? if there's like, there's going to be a couple of kinks, you know, like orders being wrong and people being overcharged or right. shit like that. But I think the Phillies are the first team to use it. Right? Yeah, because that came up on like Bleacher Report, okay. like something like holy yeah. shit, like the the Phillies are now delivering yeah. beer to your seat. Why not, man? I mean, like I know that you can text like if you see things going on, you right. can text like, yeah. hey, there's a fight over here. Yeah. Come handle this. So. You know, I've been I've been trying to text that for beer for years, and they just keep telling me to stop texting them. <laughs> Sarah, please right. stop texting me, because like they they've been they've been upgrading shit on all levels. Yeah, like the sandwich I get every time I go now since the Schmitters has left Ooh. us. Speaking of the Schmitter, I had oh, one when what last weekend? Wait, but I went what? I went to the original place to get it. Is that in um? Where the fuck's that at? It's it's in mm. uh Chestnut. Hill. It's in the Chestnuts. Yeah, Germantown Avenue, McNally's Tavern. That's what it is, yeah, McNally's. Bruh, I got the you got double. the original. The double on the long roll. Shut the fuck up, bro. You get double the meat got on a long roll. Stop. 17 bucks, worth every penny. All right, it's now one minute, Mike. I gotta go, <laughs> I gotta go <laughs> to McNally's. It was like, you had to get one. Uh, like, yeah. it's from the original. Yes, if you know I'm at mean? McNally's, like, I'm going, I'm getting a Schmitter. You just walk in, and they're like, it's, hey, it's, it's been so long. That Schmitter, t- I can get it to go. 
where you can get it to go. Wrap that shit up. They still wrap it up. She wrapped it up for me, oh, bro. Oh, God. Well, I'm hot. It was fantastic. I didn't even it, like last time I had one was years ago. Yeah, like but it was on like the yeah. Kaiser. No, right. bro. Do you get they, the double they long rollers on the double big ass, It's like a big ass hoagie roll, bro. <sighs> fantastic. It's not a long drive. You think it's really open? not a long drive, bro. It's only two fifty five in the morning. Do you it's think they're open? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you can't bounce it tomorrow morning. Like, oh, yeah, that's Schmidt off. Schmidt, please. I'm going home. Yeah, man, it was. I was like, what? Yeah, I miss those. I miss those so bad. Yeah, those man. are good sandwiches. But my my replacement is um, it's called the boardwalk, the boardwalk eats section. Mm-hmm. So I didn't know why they called it that before. It's because they've been like putting things in. And then when I went this uh, on Monday, it was a night game, bro. If it does not feel like you're on the boardwalk, like they have like the boardwalk lights and everything mm-hmm. while you're in there, and they have like a bunch of chairs and tables and shit for you to eat at while you're um when you're done and man if it didn't feel like the boardwalk it was dope and I always get the same well not the same thing it's the thing where you create your sandwich mm-hmm. it gives you um, like eight choices of meat uh, four choices of roll four cho- choices of a uh, of one topping and then like four more toppings or four more choices of a topping as well mm-hmm. so I always get the I get the dogfish head cheddar brat it's a brat with cheddar inside. Bang. They already infuse it with cheese. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, man, what would I like on top of that? Wait, first, sir, what kind of roll would you like? Pretzel roll. Lock that joint on a pretzel roll, right? Ooh. They're like, excuse me, what would you like on top of it? And I say, hmm, well, I'm a man. I'm going to take that meat topping. Would I, can I please get that pork roll and cheese? <laughs> they cut up pork roll, diced up pork roll, and and like a, a glorious American cheese uh-huh. melted. Yeah. And they just... Pour it on top. So mm. now you got that on that. And then you get crispy onion chips. Oh, yeah. Sprinkled on top. Just locked in on the cheese. Ooh, boy. All for like 11 bucks. That really? That is not bad. Yeah. For a Citizen Bank Park thing? Yeah. 11 bucks. That is not too shabby. Now, is it is a good size? Oh, it's a solid size. Yeah. It, 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 puts, it puts your belly in a happy place. But, hmm. yeah, man. Like, Citizen Bank is stepping their shit up. There's one thing in there I still have not found. Apparently, there is a macaroni and cheese bar. With sure. multiple uh, things of macaroni and cheese. And we what? all know my love for mac and cheese. Yes. I need to find this ASAP Rocky. Hmm. Yeah. But, yeah, man, so get out to fucking Citizen Bank Park. And you know when the greatest time to get out to Citizen Bank Park is? What is it? I believe it's August 18th, mm. 2018, for mm. the two men in a mic tailgate. 1818. 8, 18. 18. 18. <laughs> Month 18. Hmm. <laughs> that is August times 6. Um... Yeah, yes. so August 18th, man. We'll be down there. We'll be doing some dope shit. We will be down there. A little podcast. A little partying. Live. 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 Bone hammer. Bone hammer. <laughs> Locally. Local bone hammer. Local bone hammer. <laughs> Maybe going on the parking lot. We've all done it. Yo. Especially <laughs> in that lot. K7 will K7. never die. K7. R.I.P. Um, but yeah, man. So... Remember, tailgate's coming. It's going to be big. It's going to be huge, as Donald would say. Um, we have, we have like, one more crazy-ish thing to talk about, don't we? Uh, I think we I think we do. Not my Jim Chronicles, necessarily. No, but A. But the gym continues to be a magical place for stories. Mm-hmm. So there is a gentleman. I believe he is from Florida, which is not a shock because it's Florida. <laughs> yep. Um, and he decided it was time to work out. At the gym, mm-hmm. which we all do. Um, and he decided, you know what? I think I forgot my gym clothes today. Yeah. I'm going to work out my birthday suit. So oh. he decided to do his exercise butt-ass naked. Like cheeks out? Cheeks out. Sacks out. Wow. Everything's out. Just me and myself and Irene. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And um, the obviously, the staff decided to tell him, you, you got to go. <laughs> you got to go, homie. But it's a no-judgment zone, bro. He, that is such a slick move. Like they, I felt like they should have left him in there. Then, like, <laughs> because in that case, when if you came to my gym, right, you need to start knocking out every asshole who's in the goddamn locker room, <laughs> flanging their dangs all over the goddamn place. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to sit on a bench. I mean, if you want to call this Jim Chronicles Part Four, yeah. The other day, when I was sitting down, just you know, get my few texts in before I left the gym for the day, I had I had an old old gentleman, old gentleman. As in gravity has taken hold, gentlemen. He decided to sit his ass down on the bench next to me, mm. but butt naked, and didn't put the towel down first. No. 
So no cheeks foul. to bench. Cheeks to bench. Ass to metal. And them Jones are grady. You know, it's like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, you heard, like, a... It sounded like a wet pancake just sm- <laughs> smoked the shit out of this metal. I was like... Whoosh. And I was like... Ugh! I just got up and ran out. Come on, guys. <laughs> just, just more respect. Respect me, man. I swear to God, they watch... Respect on my name. <laughs> I swear to God, they listen to this and they're like, yeah. there he is. Yo, don't go do something crazy and naked real quick. Because every time I'm in there, someone's like, look, I swear people are looking like, do it. Do it. You'll be on the next fucking episode. Yep. Well, you're welcome, old guy. You're on. You win. But, yeah, man. That seems to be the Curtis Martin episode 28 edition. Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, we've been to Delaware and back. We have been... The Delaware and back. Out of state. Out of state and back in state. Back in state. Where we Two state where we that we are where we are. Yeah. Um, next week, zero, yeah. zero podcast. Because where are you going, Peppa? I will be uh, lingering to the towns of Linger. Salt Lake City, Utah. <laughs> okay. The Salty Lakes. Uh, I will be all over them Salty Lakes and Salty Cares. Salty Lakes. <laughs> Yeah. Salty Lakes. Let's go keep it a Salty Lakes. Let's keep it a Salty Lakes. Come on, man. Get, get some more, run, man. Let the mob run. more. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us some more, man. <laughs> Utah. 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 It's going to be a Ute. <laughs> I did not know they were called Yukons. Are you aware of this? What, the truck? <laughs> That's why I thought it was the potato. <laughs> yeah, the potato. Yukon That's gold. Right. No, they said that they're called Yukons. What? So they're called. If you're Utah, so Utah you're from Utah. They're not, you are Utah. They're not Utahns. They're not. That's why I thought I was like, you're like, you're like Utarians or some shit. <laughs> yeah. they're, they're like, called Yukons? Yukons. Like, no, that's yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. I was talking to a girl. She said, that's us, like Idaho, us bro. Yukons. And I was like, like the potato? And she's like, yeah. I was like, what? That makes no damn sense. I would have called you guys Utahians or some shit. Oh, and we say it wrong. What? Yeah, it's right. It's Utah. No, it's Utah. No, we say that. It's, but wait, people it's, from Utah are like, oh my god, why do you say it like that? Dead serious. She was like, literally, the girl, the girl was like, look, how did you just say, what did you just say? I said, Utah. She goes, is that spelled U-T-A-L-L? Yes. I said, to yeah, me it Utah. is, sure. <laughs> we also say water, so I don't know, get off my face. And she literally was like, no, it's called Utah. It's U-T-A-H. It's Utah. So like I said, Utah. Hey. So, you're going, so you're going to Utah. I'm nice. going to Salt Lake City, Utah. So Utah. Yeah. So huh. um, yes, I'm going there. I'm going to win okay. myself some gold. I'm going to play a little basketball. I'm going to rap a little bit because Peppa has many talents. Mm, mm, mm. And then I'll be back fresh, like Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, Big Ron. Okay. Um, and then we're gonna we're gonna fire on all cylinders for episode. 29 in two weeks because then we only have when I get back it's going to be two weeks until the big big soiree that's right it's going to be big so no podcast next week no big round gets the week off yes it's going to probably do lots of lots of fun things lots of nothing (laughs) lots lots of nothing (laughs) but uh this is episode 28 Curtis my favorite Martian Martin. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you in... Two weeks. Yes, two weeks. Can you wait? Can you? <laughs> Can you make Can it? You? If you can't, I don't know what to tell you. Dude, just re-listen to the podcast. Yeah, One man, we have 28 of them to go through, so and I'm pretty sure you all that. That'll all. carry over. It should. So, until then, I am Big Ron. I'm out here wearing this little vacay. Oh, yeah. And uh, I am White Pepper, and I'm going to be on the West Coast. See you when I see you. Live! 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 Live!